pretty much the biggest thing we had. Cause they were trying to melt down and stuff like that. Because they ended up securitizing everything under the sun between the loans and they put it all together and it all blew up. But that's a whole other story. Um, and then once the GSEs get them, they bring them out to the street and investors like ourselves and the partners. Oh, so like I said, they're, put, they're bought from the originator. Anyone originating a mortgage might have been, they don't have to be banks, they can get anyone who's been out long ago. Um, the largest conduits are the government sponsored entities. Now, this is kind of astounding. $5 trillion out of a $7.5 trillion market is owned by these government sponsored uh, firms. Um, the funny thing is, this whole, this, this whole idea was set up to promote home owning. It started way back in the 30s and moved all the way to the 70s. The idea that a bank would give you a loan, they take that onto their balance sheet. There's certain restrictions for having on the balance sheet. And in order to make more loans, they go out and sell it to an investor. The investor gives them money. They have now have fresh capital to make <coughs> another loan, have another mortgage, another one in the home, another everything. The reason investors want them, well, let me, let me step back. What, what, what exactly it is? This, but it's the idea where everyone here has a mortgage in the, with a bank, with many banks. Okay. The bank will then go out and it sells to the GSE. It says, here's my mortgage. The GSE takes a little cut on it, whatever, for getting it off the balance sheet. Cash comes out. All these mortgages come together. And for instance, they go off the coupons and maturities. They have very similar characteristics. So if they're issued you know, this year with a 5.5% mortgage rate, that kind of thing. They, they're all pulled together. And this pool is what we see in our Q-tips. You know, our 6% Q-tips, our 5 and and all that. So that pool is what is then sent out to the street and traded by everyone that wants a piece of it. All right. So the reason why we want to buy it, obviously, there's been much smarter people in Newport who decided why they wanted to buy it. So we're very glad for them to be there to make the head team So uh, they're all guaranteed. GSC guarantees the default, homeowner default on these loans. They say that if these people default, they're going to continue to pay the service loan. These GSEs, Ginnie Mae has always been a U.S. government agency. Um, Ginnie Mae and Freddie Mac had implied taxes. In my opinion, this implied value became completely real when they took these two companies into service hit last fall as part of the credit crisis scenario. Um, at a more theoretical level, the idea of Mortgage, um, pooling these mortgages together diversifies the risk of any single mortgage. So it's the idea that if I have April's mortgage, your mortgage, your mortgage, your mortgage, if I just own hers, there's a certain default risk that April might default. But if I have everyone's mortgage, then that's diversified out. So it's not just a bigger pool of just risks or take that. Um, and the final is actually a tangible home. So if I need to go get it, there's an actual tangible collateral to it as opposed to like a forward earnings or forward, you know, like a company might have for their corporate bonds. So. Um, they are one of the safest securities what, with the government backing. And the yields are many times higher than just the regular treasuries you see on the street. So even even durations or whatever it is, imagine seven years, ten years, whatever it is, the rate's usually higher. So that's the reason why you want to buy it. Um, all right, this is the fun part. This is where everybody, you know, we see this and this causes everyone to like hell. The idea of the pay down. So every month, this pool of mortgages shoots. There's a pool of mortgages. I'm going I'm to use the example of everyone here has a thousand dollar mortgage. There's a hundred of you, right? So we have a hundred thousand dollar pool together. Okay, every month, every one of you say you pay two dollars to your monthly mortgage, which would be great. But, okay. So one dollar goes to interest, right? <laughs> And one dollar goes to the principal to pay down the mortgage. The interest is taken by the holder, and then the principal comes down <coughs> towards what you owe towards the mortgage. So now, if all of you paid two dollars and all of the same schedule and all that, you now all owe nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Follow? Okay. There's still a hundred bonds out there though, because the original mortgage out there was a hundred thousand, one thousand dollars. So it was a hundred bonds. These hundred bonds were which a month ago was worth $100,000, are now worth nine, 99000 But there's still 100 bonds. That's the whole idea of the factor coming down. And the factor now is 0.99. So every month this happens, whether it's interest or <coughs> applied, 
which brings the whole pool down, but we still have a hundred mortgages as a market value. Anyone have questions about that? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, what's the value of the mortgage that you have to do? The fact that happens to me in months, that's a lot of time. You know, they're figuring out who pays what for their mortgage, you know, the larger pool, you know, what needs to be paid down, and then they decide, okay, this much, what's the principal this month, this month? So we're going to bring the factor down by 0.4. So now those 100 bonds will be worth 96,000, and so on. It's much larger, much more expensive. You're talking about thousands and thousands of mortgages. And so a lot of them, we only hold like negative pools, so they think it's huge, it's absolutely huge. They think of it, it's better than they Um, oh, and, crap, what was that? Um, and so once the factor comes out, then that's a lot of times when we forward settle. A lot of the questions we get from our clients are, why is our money out there? You know, we see, we, I ask them to withdraw on the 31st, we usually get it to them by the 1st or 2nd, and why is it out there? And even then, we, this stuff is happening. So we need to find out what it is before anyone on the street will settle that trade. They need to know new factor for new money to be uh, The funny part is, all that happens in the end of the month as a client, you don't receive your money until towards the end of the 25th or so. It depends on the type of um, mortgage that. So you may say that it's one or two years different, but you don't get to later in the month. Alright, so as far as what we do with this, the trading, the majority of our trading is always clean cases. What I mean is that's the original case. As I was looking before, there's 100 bonds. They would always say 100 bonds to us, and our client accounts are always 100 bonds. So what happens is, when the point gets to the floor, the principal will fall, and the market value will come down. ACR sometimes reflects this as the market value, and that's what we just screwed up from a trading standpoint. If we look at our accounts and we say, okay, I need to know the market value, I need to know how many bonds I have to trade. And it may say, you know, 800, so what I use is an example of my, my personal favorite, the people. So, so say the factor is at 0.1 in the key price. So the actual market value of trading at par will be $81,250. Right? That's the idea I want to pay down this pool and all that. So it's still 100 bonds. So when we go to sell that piece, we need to see 100 bonds, not it goes up there. Because we can see this is a strong quantity and it, 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 it adds to bigger problems. Um, um, the reason why it's so important to have all these together, why you guys want to you know, we've not worked so hard with the account setting all this up. It's because on top of all this, this simple fact that we're talking about this month is things getting screwed up and all that. Retailing is not very good at trading more stuff. At least not yet. Um, there's no way for us as traders to go across the board and say, well, let me set that. I'm sorry. So each pool, like I said before, is made up of characteristics. You know, it's 6%, 5.5%, based on the service. For our model, there are an unlimited number of features to match that, that description. So we may have, right now I think we have something like 23, 24 sixes. I think I might be exact. There's a lot. And all those sixes are dedicated to what we call in our model as a fanny six. Okay? Am I, am I losing anybody on that? Yes. Okay. So what I want to ATL, if I need fanny six to be 30%, 